here's my ultrasonic cleaner. I've got about uh, one third Ellie's Totally Awesome Cleaner and two thirds hot water. I'm just going to start dropping parts in here. probably end up running this many times because I know it doesn't just magically work one time. Hopefully you can see the condition of some of these parts as they're going in there. See the color of the cleaning solution now as opposed to what it's going to look like when it comes out of here. I think now my carb probably needs it too, but I don't think I'm gonna. I haven't disassembled the carb yet, so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Put it at the max, and we'll just run it. And every time that timer goes down, I'm gonna restart it, maybe shift parts around a little bit, and I'll show you what the parts look like when they come out. And time to disassemble this carb. Don't mind that buzzing you hear in the background, it's just the ultrasonic cleaner doing its thing. Don't tell me I have to cut a, another hex wrench just to loosen that. Thankfully no. Don't know if this is going to have a gasket here. This is actually the first Sato 120 car, but I've pulled apart. Just has an O-ring. Which looks to be in decent shape. And this car body may need to go in the cleaner. There's a lot of crud in here. I'm going to have to find a really small wrench for this guy. That's way too big. Okay, luckily I've got one of these Sato spanners. Removing this should allow this to come out, except looks like there's a retaining clip in there, which I had not anticipated. I'm not really sure which way that clip needs to go to come out, but apparently this is how the clip needs to go to come out. So there's the groove. I hope I had that all in focus. There's the metering groove that this rotating brass disc engages or allows fuel to draw through. So now I did take pictures of the orientation of this disc prior to doing this in the hopes that <clears throat> I can put it back together and have it very close to where it needs to be. There's a small little bracket here. One thing I want to do when I put this back together is I want to hopefully screw this in so that this nipple is pointing in a different direction than it's pointing now because I never I did like that. Having to go up and under with the fuel line. that rotating disc. Oh, it looks like there's a little gasket there and then here's 
the needle valve goes in here, you can see in that hole, and then there's this groove that these two things kind of ride into. So this is interesting, very interesting. Dirty, but interesting. Very dirty. Yeah, that O-ring actually looks pretty compressed. Probably going to have to replace that. I don't know if I've got one on hand or not. I don't know if I've got a, got a T-pin here that I might be able to get it out without damaging it. Maybe. I might have another one, but I don't know. That O-ring looks... Like it could be replaced pretty easily. I need replacing. Okay, so here are the cleaned up parts. They, uh, I only ran it through two cycles in the ultrasonic cleaner. Let me start by showing you this head. I didn't. I wasn't able to get every single little bit of black stuff in there because I don't have a brush with bristles long enough. But it cleaned up pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, this thing looks pretty nice and clean. Uh, here's the crankcase. No more grime and goo in there. If you look at the inside, nice and clean. So I was really surprised that one or two cycles through the cleaner actually got most of this stuff cleaned up really nice. Here's the piston. I'm not going to worry about trying to get all that carbon off there. I did take the ring off. Cleaned this up just a hair. Uh, these rocker cover assemblies were pretty nasty. Everything cleaned up really well. Here's the crankshaft. And this little washer just was free after I took it out of the cleaner. Again, very impressed with how this thing cleaned up. Connecting rod, inside of the timing case. Um, here's that rear bearing. I did put it in the LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner bath. Cleaned it up and oiled it. That thing's good. I didn't do anything with this front bearing. And I didn't remove either shield. In fact, I don't think I'm going to. I think this is going to be one instance where I'm going to leave a shield in place because this feels so nice and smooth. Uh, rocker covers, they were a little, little grimy inside. Valves. Cleaned up rather nicely. Timing gear. Everything is really, you know, pretty pristine again. This carb. I did completely disassemble it, clean all the goop gunk out of that, replace the O-ring here. So this thing is pretty much ready to be reassembled. I'll go through this exhaust in there one more time. So like I said, this engine is pretty much ready to be reassembled. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. This is Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm probably going to be watching TV most of the rest of the day. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching.